the stars are right, and that means it's time for another episode of The Whisper in Darkness. I'm your host, the man from Lang. Thank you very much for joining me today. On this episode, I am reviewing the rogue cards in Heart of the Elders, the third mythos pack in the Forgotten Age cycle. There are spoilers throughout if you care about that sort of thing, so let's get started. For the first time in the game's history, there is only one rogue card in the pack, but man oh man, what a card it is. This is Lola Santiago, no-nonsense archaeologist. She's a three-cost ally that will set you back three experience points. She has two intellect skill icons and the ally and wayfarer traits. Santiago gives your investigator plus one intellect and plus one agility. You may exhaust her as a free triggered ability during any player window and spend X resources to discover one clue at your location where X is the shroud value of your location. She has two health, two sanity, and takes up an ally slot. Lola Santiago has been hotly anticipated by uh, the community since she was spoiled in Fantasy Flight's preview article for Heart of the Elders, and it's uh, very easy to see why. Two intellect skill icons, a plus one bonus to both intellect and agility skill values, and an effect that lets you discover an extra clue each round during any player window without making a skill test is a very powerful package indeed. Since the core set dropped, uh, rogues have received a lot of tools to help them discover clues, including Streetwise in uh, Blood on the Altar and Lockpicks in the Path to Carcosa. The uh, one thing that was missing from the rogue arsenal, though, was some sort of multi-access, to, uh, to borrow the uh, netrunner term. Lockpicks are great at getting clues, but uh, you can only use them once per turn if you only have one set on the table. The uh, designers tried to plug that gap uh, with Eavesdrop, Eavesdrop, a uh, rogue event released in the Forgotten Age Deluxe expansion. Unfortunately, you do need a lot of things to fall into place before you can play that event to uh, discover two clues. That is certainly not the case with Lola Santiago. As long as you've got the resources to spare, and let's face it, if you're playing a rogue, you shouldn't have too much trouble generating resources. Santiago can snag you an extra clue. If there are a lot of low shroud locations on the table, she could potentially convert a spare resource or two into an extra clue every round. That is an absolutely fantastic way to boost your tempo if you're playing solo, and uh, Santiago's ability can even help a rogue keep pace with those snooty seekers if you happen to be playing multiplayer. Now, Santiago's ability becomes a little bit impractical as the shroud value on locations rises, but uh, make no mistake, it is still valuable. As long as you've got those resources, Santiago guarantees that you will be able to discover a clue at a location, which uh, can be invaluable when the uh, game is on the line, as it so often is. Now, uh, Santiago, Santiago sorry, also makes lockpicks even better, which uh, I didn't even know was possible, if you're stuck at those high shroud locations. Finn Edwards has a skill value of 10 during investigate actions with this combination in play, and the other rogue and off-class rogues aren't that far behind him. Between Santiago's ability and the lockpicks, rogues have multiple options to tackle those high shroud locations, which I think is very thematic for the class uh, that should be very good at poking its nose in the uh, darkest corners of the world. Santiago's free triggered ability is a very, very good at all difficulty levels, but it really shines on harder expert, where the ability to discover a clue without making a skill test is a tremendous asset. If you're stuck at a high shroud location and you've got the resources to spare, Santiago will discover a clue without the need to tempt fate and draw from the chaos bag, especially on, on expert when there's that uh, evil minus eight lurking in there somewhere. There are five investigators who can uh, pick up Lola Santiago, Skids O'Toole, Finn Edwards, Jenny Barnes, Lola Hayes, and Safina Russo. A uh, quick look over at ArkhamDB suggests Jenny and Finn uh, are the leading candidates to uh, put Santiago to good use, but I think each investigator on the list probably has a build that uh, could benefit from her talents. Rogues have uh, received so many tools to generate additional resources since the core set uh, that it shouldn't be too difficult to pay for Santiago's ability. All of the investigators I listed above uh, can use a combination of special abilities, Lone Wolf, Emergency Cash, either level of Hot Streak, and watch this to uh, generate a pile of resources. 
which they can then uh, turn into clues using Santiago's free triggered ability. Lola Santiago would be a very good card if all she did was uh, give an investigator plus one intellect and plus one agility. Santiago's free triggered ability really takes her to a whole new level. Between Streetwise and Lockpicks, it's relatively easy for rogues to discover one clue. Santiago gives them the option to discover a second every round without making a skill test. Discovering a clues uh, advances your win condition in this game, so uh, I really do expect uh, Santiago to crop up in a lot of rogue decks uh, moving forward. And that's it for the rogues in uh, Heart of the Elders. The uh, class only receives one card, but uh, what the class lacks in quantity, they certainly make for up for in quality. Lola Santiago is a very, very good card uh, that fills a hole in the rogue arsenal. Discovering clues hasn't really been an issue for rogues since lockpicks came out. The class could use a little bit more speed, though, and I think that uh, Santiago fills that gap nicely, whether you're playing solo or multiplayer. If uh, you're playing a rogue who is expected to lend a hand in the clue department, uh, you certainly can't go wrong with a copy or two of uh, Lola Santiago in your deck. That's going to do it for me today. If you enjoyed this review, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you need to contact me, I can be reached at manfromlang at gmail.com. I'm also on Twitter at manfromlang. Until the stars are right, keep your shotgun close and your elder sign closer. Take care out there, and happy investigating.